All right, everybody. After some conversations with some very important people, they thought I maybe should talk more during these little uh, videos. So, uh, yeah, I am going to warm up a little bit, um, but my goal is to work on one footers and X ups. Uh, not very good at them. Uh, in fact, I degressed on the X ups quite good or quite a lot, and uh, I want to try to get him back. It's a little bit windy today, so I'm not sure about the audio. Um, but yeah, get everything set up, and uh, I'm going to try just kind of boost first, get warmed up, get comfortable, and then uh, start trying some tricks. So, I'm going to try to work on one footers. I don't know if this is the best angle, so I'm going to move. That one I just, just lean back way too far. Kinda. Felt pretty good. I want to ride up and just you know, dog with the leg and back on the pedal before I land. But we'll see. I think I'm happy with that. I, uh, you guys don't know me. I can obsess over one thing for a really long time. So I'm trying to break it on smaller chunks, small progression, move on to something else and then let it rest, come back to it. So now I'm gonna try X-ups. If you don't know what an X-up is, we're riding up in the air and then you cross your arms up in the neck. So the idea is to have the front wheel completely backwards. My biggest problem is, uh, one, my feet are big, so, turn. so when I do an X up, my toes can hit the front tire, and that is the scariest thing in the world if you go past it and then you can't get your foot back or your tire back. So that's one issue. The second issue is if I'm leaning too far forward, my, it'll hit my knee pads. So I have to straighten out my legs, bend way over, do the X up, come back, and not hit my foot, and stay straight, not lean too far back, too far forward. Anyway, seems simple, but it's not. So here we go. Kind of a bad jump. commit to the jump and it bucked me forward and I thought I was going to go over the bars. So I know it's really windy so I don't know exactly what to do to help that. I don't have a big cat muffler system or anything. We'll try that.
still on like 90, but my jumping is just still all over the place. I don't get it. So that one, I pumped and boosted too much. Kind of got up in the air. Tried to turn the bars and immediately hit my knee pad. The bars didn't go anywhere. Got to lean over farther. perfect jump and uh, surprised me and I just didn't commit all the way. Let's try again. Oh, that was decent. That was a pretty good one. It wasn't all the way, but I like it. So, as a famous skateboarder says, two to make it true. Let me try a second one. Kind of a bad thing in midair. So think about doing one-handers with this arm. The ultimate goal is to be able to jump up, do a tire grab, catch, and then come down. Not today, but that's what I'm trying to look for. The other thing is a no-hander. Uh, there's two different versions. There's called a suicide no-hander, where you jump up and then put your arms back like this, or you can clap and put your arms back on before you land. The second version is called a tuck no hander, where you jump up and you put your bars in your lap and you go like this and then catch and then come down. Uh, I'm going more for the, the ultimate suicide, so I'm going to try to take my hands off. They end up looking like this or jazz hands. <laughs> so, I mean, ideally. I can get them out and then keep you know going farther and farther so boom catch seems like I have enough time but when you're in the air it's never enough time Whoa. oh my hands came off a tiny bit but big problem my feet came off a little bit so, whew, that's actually called a nothing, but I don't want to do that. Okay, I think I just learned something, maybe, is when I do a no-hander and I'm just jumping normal with my legs bent, the bike kind of goes like this and I get scared and then grab on. I think I need to treat it like an X-up, where I straighten my legs, pinch the seat, and then I can do this and the bike doesn't move around as much. Maybe. Let 
I'm having a hard time getting tired. Uh, I already did like a two hour or something mountain bike ride this morning. My knees are feeling it, losing confidence. I probably should have started off with the no handers because I need lots of energy and confidence. But <laughs> yeah, I just don't have it right now. So maybe I'll try a couple one handers and then I'm going to call it good. So that was my, my left hand, which I just started trying. That was actually really good. I'm surprised. Another good one. Uh, I should probably call it good when I'm doing well, but I'm actually going to try to reach forward towards the tire a little bit. Uh, and that requires pulling back bike which I don't know what that's gonna do to me so we'll see oh no <laughs> not today well I'm gonna do a couple more just one handers I'm not gonna go for the tire grab today I need to build up some confidence okay getting a little bit cocky I need to stop so Thanks for watching and uh, sorry about the audio. I know the wind's gonna be really bad, but we'll see how it works out. If you like it, let me know somehow. Uh, yeah, or any advice. Uh, and uh, maybe my outro is a sweat drip. Have a good one. <laughs>